Hi guys, Abs here. In the next few moments, I'll be showing you how to take your website keyword blueprint and building a keyword theme based site using one of our WordPress plugins, which is totally free of charge. Now, I just want to point out one thing, guys, that there are actually two versions of this plugin. The good news is, is that they're both totally free. Um, now, to get the second plugin or to get the second version of the plugin that does provide you with more control, then all you have to do is follow the details after you opt in. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by showing you a keyword blueprint that I built so we all want to be doing this structuring our websites before we actually start building them um, if you followed one of my last videos which was on keyword LSIs um, and the Google Hummingbird update um, then you'll actually know a number of tips that we can use to get synonyms um, and to get LSI keywords as well um, so working with my last example guys um, I had a main primary keyword called web hosting. So I'm actually looking to rank for web hosting. I opened up the keyword web hosting, found out some LSI keywords, and I came to see that dedicated hosting, VPS hosting, shared hosting, and reseller hosting, along with web hosting, are very related together. And they also hold a number of traffic or, or a number of visitors that come over to them on, an, on a monthly basis. Um, so the idea was, was that my main keyword was gonna be webs, web hosting, my secondary keywords were going to be dedicated hosting, VPS hosting, shared hosting, and reseller hosting. So what I then went and done is I went out and actually found some supporting keywords that I can use and create articles for to bring up these um, these actual secondary keywords and my main primary keyword as well. Um, so I come up with a number of top topics such as cheap dedicated hosting, unlimited VPS hosting, affordable web hosting, fast VPS hosting, Windows reseller hosting, um, make money with reseller hosting, all about shared hosting and so many more as well. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to actually take this here, um, we're going to look at we're going to look to see exactly how we can build um, the most optimum kind of interlinking structure for our blogs um, and how to keep everything very very related to each other um, and we're going to use silo we're going to use a siloing structure um, using our free keyword sorry using our free WordPress plugin so I'm going to take you over to the next slide guys um, but just have a look at these keywords here guys um, if you saw these keywords straight away you're going to know that yes everything does revolve around web hosting dedicated hosting VPS hosting shared hosting and reseller hosting and now what we're going to do is structure the website and interlink it in such a way to make sure that we can get them main keywords and secondary keywords ranking in the search engines um, and to make sure that we give Google no doubt in exactly what the theme of our website is about and um, we're going to be controlling everything as well and at the same time we're going to be giving our users a much more pleasant user experience so anyway I'm going to take you to well I'm going to take you through two interlinking methods guys um, both of them you can perform with um, our WP silos plugin which is totally free of charge um, the second method that I'm be showing you can only be done with the second part of the, with the second version of the plugin which again is totally free just follow the instructions after opting in okay so let's take a look our web hosting page is going to be our main page okay we've got our secondary keywords we've got reseller hosting we've got dedicated hosting we've got VPS hosting and we've got shared hosting what we're gonna do now guys um, is have a look to see exactly how these are all going to interlink so our home page which is web hosting is gonna link out to each one of them pages our secondary keyword pages likewise our secondary keyword pages are gonna link back to our home to our home page so we've got four links from four different pages internally which is our secondary keywords going to our home page which is our web hosting which is targeting web hosting and we've got four links going out of web hosting page which is our home page um, going over to each one of them um, secondary pages and what we're going to do now is we're going to build a siloing structure um, based on these secondary keywords and we're going to interlink it in such a way and keep everything so th so related um, that there's going to be no doubt in exactly how this is going to work um, and or what signals we're going to be sending the search engine robots and the relevancy on these is going to be so tightly put together guys um, that you know even if you put your AdWord ads on there for you know AdWords clicks that are worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars um, then Google's going to totally recognize um, 
AdSense, sorry, I meant, um, Google's gonna totally recognize exactly what kind of ads it should be showing because of the way you've structured everything together. So, okay, so we've got reseller hosting, our secondary keyword. Now, under under reseller hosting, we've got our posts, which are our article posts. They're gonna be things like cheap reseller hosting, Windows reseller hosting, affordable reseller hosting, Linux reseller hosting, make money with reseller hosting. You can have so many more. Um, and obviously, depending on the comp how competitive your actual keyword is, guys, is gonna depend on exactly how many posts you're gonna need. Again, this, this goes past the scope of this actual video because I want to keep it short, um, but we will see if we can try and get some more advanced training uh, put together for these as well. So anyway, the idea here is is every single one of these posts um, underneath reseller hosting is going to be pointing back to reseller hosting, which is fantastic. It makes total sense. And reseller hosting is going to be is going to be pointing back to web hosting. What happens then, guys, is obviously from reseller hosting, we've got recent posts as well. Now, the recent posts, we don't want to see, we don't want to show recent posts of how you've been adding or how we have been adding recent posts on WordPress, whereby we've added a post today on dedicated hosting and then a, another one today on shared hosting. So in reseller hosting, we don't want to show posts that were from dedicated hosting or shared hosting. So instead what happens is the reseller hosting page actually links back to a number of these pages, which is which are the recent which are the recent pages. And you can and we'll be talking about these um in much more detail as soon as I take you over to the website where I have a live example. Okay, and then what we also do as well, guys, we, we have related posts as well. So within the actual post, so things like make money with reseller hosting, um, at towards the bottom of it, we've got, rec we've got recent or related posts as well. Sorry, not recent posts. We've got related posts, and these related posts will be linking back to one, two, or three um, pages within that same category so the idea here is guys if you can see um is we've got web hosting linking out to here we've got these linking back to web hosting and then we've got all the supporting articles um that are there bringing in the relevancy for reseller hosting um, and it's everything's going round in circles okay so reseller hosting is sending it back to these um articles the articles are sending it back to reseller hosting it's sending it back to other articles and then everything from reseller hosting obviously is getting sent over to web hosting as well um so what's happening here guys um it's keeping everything really really fantastically related guys um which is exactly what we want but wordpress as standard that doesn't allow us to actually do this so our plugin is and i'm going to show you that in action in a moment let's take a look at the next silo as well so shared hosting so with shared hosting we've got things like cheap shared hosting window shared hosting why shared hosting shared hosting reviews shared hosting discount all about shared hosting and obviously some of these guys like shared hosting reviews um, or shared hosting discounts um, might have um a fairly large um, competition or competing pages with them as well. Um, so it might actually be ideal to go ahead and build its own little silo for that page as well, um, or have parent pages as well. Again, guys, this doesn't go through, you know, I can't go through um, a very advanced training session here at the moment because this isn't the whole idea about this. Um, but we will see if we can try and get them done as well. Um, so anyway, this would work in exactly the same way. Um, the supporting articles for shared hosting will link back to shared hosting. Shared hosting will link back to the supporting articles um, through recent posts and related posts. And within the recent, within the articles themselves, um, they'll be linking back to um, the actual related articles as well. Um, same for dedicated hosting, VPS hosting, we've got Windows dedicated hosting, fast dedicated hosting, cheap dedicated hosting. Uh, for VPS hosting, we've got fast VPS hosting, um, VPS hosting discounts, um, Windows VPS hosting, unlimited VPS hosting. And again, guys, all of these will be linking back to their actual pages, their parent pages, um, and then they're gonna be linking back to the actual articles, and then the articles within themselves are gonna be interlinking as well. Okay, so, Oh yes, I totally forgot about this. And from the actual posts themselves as well, guys, um, the post in every single silo is gonna link back to the homepage as well. So what you got going here is, um, let's take another look. So you've got our homepage. Okay, our homepage is linking out to the secondary pages. And all the secondary pages are linking back to the homepage. And then you've got the posts pages, uh, sorry, then you've got the posts. The posts are, linking back to the actual secondary page which is the landing page um, and then the posts are also linking back to the home page as well so you've got loads of links going or you've got every single post and page linking back to the home page and then you've got a fantastic little silo structure um, for every single landing page so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take you over to my wordpress site using our plugin and i'm going to show you this in a 
in a live example now. Um, so this is interlinking method A, and um, this is what the first plugin will do for you. So I'm going to cross out of here, guys. Um, I'm going to go over to our website. Okay, so the website, the test website that I've built up is seomated.com forward slash test. Um, so as you can see, on on here we've got a number of pages here um, these are the headings are actually all changeable as well guys okay so you got web hosting you got reseller hosting you got VPS hosting you got shared hosting and dedicated hosting okay exactly like we've got in our blueprint web hosting as you can see guys actually links to the home page that's the home page link there this is what our home page is all about okay let's go over to reseller hosting and see what happens so I'm going over to reseller hosting and now what you got on reseller hosting page is you got a link to the web hosting page which is the home page okay and you got a link to the reseller hosting page so this is its own page so you got a link to its own page but now what you got down here is you got recent posts as well now recent posts is if we have a look at this diagram again guys um, these are recent posts okay in the reseller hosting page so every single one of these should be linking back to reseller hosting as well so let's take a look at these we'll go into cheap reseller hosting for example and as you can see every single one of these are linking back to if we have a look at the diagram again okay it links back to the home page and it links back to the reseller hosting page as well and that's exactly what we've got here so we've got recent posts um, which obviously we talk about when the reseller hosting page is linking back to these okay so that's the reseller hosting page linking back to these through recent posts well this is the recent reseller hosting page here okay now we're going on a post <clears throat> on the post page um, it links back to the home page it links back to the top silo page so the reseller hosting page and then you've also got related posts as well and the related posts will be linking back to random posts inside of the reseller hosting category so if I click on refresh you should see these change over as well guys so let me just click refresh Okay, so as you can see, um, they're randomly changing over, so we've always got something getting sent over um, and providing users with some more um, with some more related posts. And obviously, these are all going to be from the reseller hosting page. Okay, so we can actually go back over to the web hosting, the home page. The home page, this is the doorway page or the main page, um, and it links out just to the landing or just to the secondary pages. Okay, we can have a look at dedicated hosting, for example. Going over to dedicated hosting goes over to the home page, goes over to its own page. So this is the own dedicated hosting. So if I click on here, it's its own page here. Um, if I go into fast dedicated hosting, um, what you'll notice is it stays and links to them. It links to reseller posts and it also links to different posts or related posts within there as well so say for example you had something like a hundred posts a hundred recent posts inside of the dedicated hosting um, category page um, so our plugin actually allows you to control how many you want to show how many related posts you want to show as well so I'm going to show you this in the back end in a moment but the idea here is guys um, is you can exactly see um, how our blueprint from here um, has come to life so we've got our main page we've got our secondary pages um, and then we've got our article pages sorry our post pages our posts are linking to our main page our posts are linking to our home page our posts are interlinking between each other and our main pages are actually linking back to our posts as well so we've got a fantastic silo structure going on here everything's kept really really relevant uh, which is which is brilliant okay so I'm gonna show you method two now okay let's go over to method two let me start this again um, okay we've done this okay so we've got our whole structure here now guys um, but what you'll notice is that we don't have any supporting articles for our main keyword so web hosting um, obviously we want to get some supporting articles for them as well so here's where they come in um, so you've got things like all about web hosting affordable web hosting web hosting discounts web hosting reviews cheap web hosting um, and they're gonna link back to our web hosting page um, and our web hosting page sorry and they're going to interlink within with each other as well um, from the related posts and our web hosting page is going to start off the actual um, the silo process and send out the link um, and the whole reason behind that is because that's our home page and the way we've built the plugin we're assigning the page to the home page so it's the front page so there's no so there's not going so if you link out to that page sorry then it's only going to be able to link out to its to itself which it's already doing um, so I'll show you this in action now as well so how this starts off and how this silo works out <clears throat> so let's go over to our home page so on web hosting here guys we've got links to our pages here and the way you'd actually start this off um, is you'd actually have to put a link to the silo in here yourself um, so I've got a link here to find out all about hosting I'll click on all about hosting guys um, and as you can see this is 
about our hosting now in the hosting web hosting category uh, which is assigned to our web hosting page which is the front page and if this doesn't make sense then don't worry whatsoever guys and the whole reason I don't want you to worry is because I'm going to show you the back end now in any second so here as you can see the link here just goes straight over um, to our home page um, if I go back on here um, I can click on here I've only got two articles or two posts that I've placed in here guys so you'll only see them changing around there um, but this actually goes back over to our web hosting page um, so if we have a look at this now um, we've got our supporting articles supporting reseller hosting we've got our supporting articles supporting dedicated hosting we've got everything supporting VPS hosting and supporting shared hosting and we've got our articles supporting web hosting and then we've got all of our pages our secondary keywords that are supporting our main primary keyword as well so this is exactly how um, we need to work with this guys and this is exactly how um, we're going to be able to control exactly what we're telling the search engine robots and what we want to show them but now one more thing that we need to look at as well is that these articles from reseller hosting the articles from dedicated hosting the articles from VPS hosting and shared hosting are all linking back not only to the main page um, the main sorry secondary page secondary keyword page so the main category page but it's also linking back to our web hosting as well so something like this it isn't as tight as it could be and um, when we're talking about an interlinking structure it, the tighter that we can get it the better it can be um, so there's actually a second keyword tool that we implemented after building this um, and I'm going to be showing you that in action now as well so let me go back over to the presentation okay we'll start on this one here and I'll just go over to from current slide <clears throat> okay fantastic so the second method is like this guys you got web hosting as our main keyword you got our secondary keywords and our web hosting page is linking back to all of them and they're linking back to the main page as well um, so I'm gonna fast forward this guys because we've already we already know how this works but I'm gonna show you the key differences now okay so this is exactly what it is guys as you can see what's happening now is you've got web hosting linking out to our secondary keywords you got our secondary keywords linking back to web hosting and then what you got is you've got a full silo structure here so you've got reseller hosting you've got its supporting articles that are linking back to reseller hosting you've got reseller hosting linking back to your um, to the articles as well that are supporting it um, from recent posts and then you've got the posts themselves linking back to each other from related posts but this time what you don't have guys is you don't have the articles from cheap from reseller hosting you don't have the articles from dedicated hosting VPS hosting and shared hosting pointing back to web hosting so what's happening here is you're keeping this very very tightly together um, so if your competition's larger and harder um, then this is the kind of linking structure that you need okay so this is exactly how it works so I'm gonna show you okay and the second part of it guys is is like this as well so obviously you got your supporting articles for your web hosting page as well um, and that's the end of it so I'm gonna show you this in action here and I'm gonna show you the difference so let's go over to VPS hosting for example okay I'm on VPS hosting now this is my main VPS hosting page sorry not VPS hosting page let's go over to a post page because that's where the change is gonna be so the post page guys as you can see from the post page in VPS hosting we're linking back to the VPS hosting landing page but we're also linking back to the web hosting page which is our home page now many will like to do it like this and many will not so this is why the second plugin comes into comes into play so I'm gonna go over to settings I'm gonna go over to WP silos settings so this is the plugin guys WP silo settings you've got a number of settings down here I'm gonna take you through the settings now um, but just before I take you through them settings I'm gonna click on this don't show home link on posts I'm gonna click on save and I'm going to go back over to here guys and we're on that page again sorry we're on the VPS hosting we're on the VPS hosting post I'm gonna click on refresh and as you can see guys on a VPS post it only links to the VPS landing page I'll click on the VPS landing page and then the VPS landing page is actually linking over to the home post okay and that's exactly what this does here guys so this is a much tightly geared together silo structure um, when you are actually got the version 2 playing with it now let me show you the actual settings that we can do and exactly how this works okay so the very first thing that you're going to be doing is when you when you download the plugin is you're going to upload the plugin as you upload any plugin um, so you'll go to plugins um, you'll go to add new you'll upload the zip and it'll come in like this wpsilos.com seo interlinking silo plugin by abbasrauchi.com okay so what you can do now is you're going to go over to pages okay you're going to create a page for 
every secondary keyword and your home page keyword as well. So as you can see, I've got web hosting, I've got VPS hosting, I've got shared hosting, reseller hosting and dedicated hosting. Don't worry about the sitemap guys, I've just added that in there myself. Um, so once I've created the pages, what you're going to do now is you're going to go over to categories. Okay, and you're going to add a category. When you add a category, you're going to add a slug for it as well. I'm going to show you how to do this in a moment as well. Then what you're going to do, guys, is you're going to link. This is a new feature of um, this plugin, obviously. Um, you're going to link a category to the actual page. Sorry, you're going to link the category to one of the pages that you previously created. So you're going to have something like the dedicated hosting category page. It's going to be linked to the dedicated hosting page. You're going to have the reseller hosting category linked to the reseller hosting page and so on. OK, and then you're going to come over to settings and you're going to come over to WP silo settings. And inside of here, you can actually choose. So the number of recent posts to show. So when I go over to, say, reseller hosting, these are recent posts here, guys. You can actually choose how many recent posts you want to show. If you want to show one, two, three, four, five, whatever. And you can actually show the number of related posts to show, show as well. So if I go into one of these articles here, guys, as you can see, it shows two recent posts. I can change this and show just one if I want to, just by doing this here. OK, and I'll click on refresh and you'll only see one link here in a moment. There you go, fantastic. It's only got one link. If I click on refresh here, you'll always see that link changing around. So it's always keeping fresh um, for users and the search engines, obviously, um, to go around and, and, and read it or whatever they want to do. <clears throat> OK, now you've also got the option of choosing the home title. So as you can see here, we've got links. Oh, sorry, we've got pages. OK, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that now um, to um, navigation for example i'm gonna click on save settings i'm gonna go back over to here i'm gonna click on refresh and as you can see that's actually changed over to navigation now um, let me go over to reseller hosting and go over to home web hosting and that will always remain on navigation that's a pretty good name for that if you want to give it a name if you don't want to give it any name then you don't need to add anything in here and you can actually click on save settings okay i'm gonna click on refresh here and what you'll see is there's no there's nothing in there. I'm gonna actually update this and call it pages still because I like that name. Okay, then you've got a home page anchor text link. So if you have a look here, um, web hosting leads to our home page. Okay, now web hosting, we change that and use the anchor text from here. So say for example, I you I call this here now. Well, I'll change this to my anchor link. Okay, I'll call it home. Okay, because homes are a very good keyword to use as well well for navigation users for your users um, okay i'll click on refresh okay here we go sorry it was in, it was in my cache okay so as you can see here that says home now okay i'll go to dedicated hosting okay it says home so we've got a link to our home now i'll go to premium dedicated host articles and okay we only goes over to dedicated hosting here and the reason it goes over to dedicated hosting is because we're using version two of the plugin uh, which doesn't show the actual home page link on posts so there you go we've got a home there now so i'm gonna actually change this back over to web hosting i was happy with that um, there web hosting fantastic and you've got a related post link as well so you've got sorry title for related posts so if we go over to uh, dedicated hosting I'll go over to, as you can see, I still got home on there because we haven't actually clicked on save. Um, OK, so we're on a post page now, guys. As you can see, we've got this here, related posts. Um, you can change that to whatever you like. Oops, where am I going? <laughs> here we are. OK, I can type in something like. Um, you might. OK, related. Related articles, for example. I could type that. Okay, I'll click on settings. Okay, save settings, sorry. I'll go over here, I'll click on refresh and you'll see that change. Okay, as you can see, that says related articles now instead of related posts. And the last thing you got here is recent post title as well. So recent post is what you see here, recent posts. You can change that as well. 
um, to something like related posts or recent posts or whatever you want guys you know I'm, I'm sure you get the idea of how this works um, so this is fantastic this is exactly how this works guys it is that simple um, you can make your real life blueprints come to life um, in exactly the same way that in exactly the same way that we actually note down on paper um, obviously we've had to rearrange and adjust WordPress um, in a massive way to actually get this to work um, so um, there were a number of delays to get this out to you but I was actually it, you know I really wanted to get it out so we've managed to get this done um, so this is it guys all you have to do is download the plugin um, to download the plugin is opt-in once you opt-in you'll be given version 1 version 1 won't allow you to not show your home link on posts um, don't show that sorry exclude it from your home, from your posts but version 2 will allow you um, and it allows you to build a much more tighter um, silo structured website as well um, so again guys totally free of charge share it help help us out send over your friends to this um, page um, and let them benefit from it too as well um, so thank you very much guys and if you have any questions then again you know we'll be more than happy to help you out um, please use our support forum autobacklinkbomb.com forward slash forum um, again guys it's a free plugin um, you can use it as you please um, but please just keep everything intact um, and I really hope this helps you um, in making your websites better keeping your posts interlinked um, into the way uh, sorry to show the search engine robots exactly where you want to be sending and um, sending the authority and how you want to keep your themes relevant to each other as well so one page to the next page relevant as well um, there's a few tips and tricks that I can show you I'm happy to show you as well so for example I've got 301 redirects guys um, 301 redirects what I'm doing here is redirecting my category pages um, because I don't want my category pages now and I'm redirecting them to the actual post pages um, if that doesn't make too much sense to you guys fire a, fire a question away on the support forum and I'll be happy to help you out so again guys um, I hope you enjoyed working with this very simple very straightforward um, again all you have to do um, is um, upload the plugin um, add your pages once you've added your pages go over to categories add your categories um, once you've added your categories guys or while you're adding your categories link in, link them to pages um, and choose a nice slug as well um, I'm gonna leave this um, website up just so that you can have a look and refer to it as you please um, and have a look to see exactly how I've built up this silo structure okay guys so um, anyway I hope you enjoy working with this um, if you like it share it with um, share our page um, on your social site will be more than happy and more than grateful as well thank you very much and enjoy working with the tool